So part of this assignment is to make a line drawing. Uh, and the challenge is to, it can help you design this project how you could draw your topic or, or make your project without cutting your wire into a lot of little pieces. So um, Deirdre came in earlier and we talked about the cat and that starting that out as an outline might work as a good basic structure and then you could add more wire onto that. Um, I think you guys can conceptualize how you could fold down the legs and make a, a creature shape. All right, and then since it's October and close to Halloween, I thought I would uh, think about a skull. Happen to have this great model here uh, from the dollar store. And so I did a little sketching. Uh, this was a one-line sketch. And then I thought, wow, that could be the front of the piece. And then maybe I want to add um, some other lines and shapes to it to make it a dimensional skull. So um, I have some wire here. Uh, that's a little bit darker, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to, I'm working small in this little demonstration because I want to go uh, quickly, so I'm not necessarily going to make an eight inch, uh, eight and a half inch tall skull, uh, but nonetheless, you can see how I'm starting to. So I made a circle, um, the skull is going to need a back, um, so here, one little trick is rather than, you could pull the wire through, which is a fine way to operate. You could also use your pliers if you wanted to make a knot or a connection right here to just pinch a little bit of your wire, uh, pinch it into a loop. Um, and then this wire could either go through that loop or I could also, if I want to make a knot, I could just go around that loop or I could make another loop and twist the two loops together. So there's a lot of different ways, and if you're working with a long piece of wire, um, you may want to look at that ranch knot, um, ranch wire fence knot video that I showed you. Um, here again, I'm going to crimp down uh, with the pliers. Let's see if I can tighten that up a little bit, get that to stay. Um, it seems to be good for now, and then that could be like the back of my skull, see? And so, let's see, if that's the back of my skull, then maybe this is going to be the front. Um, and I'm eh, running out of wire, eh, but if that happens, you can just add more. There, I just twisted it around. Um, and I'm kind of thinking about this line right here. Like, how could I make that more, you know, part of my design and not just kind of hanging out there? Maybe it's becoming uh, part of the. Sorry about the lighting conditions, you guys. All right. So anyways, I'm going to go from here, this could be an eye, um, anyways, I think you guys can see how I'm starting to just kind of draw in space. So I mean, I want you to make a drawing, uh, but then don't you don't have to stick to the drawing in any way. I think the drawing is strictly in this case to help you conceptualize how you might start going about making your object in space. Um, and anyways, it may take you a few tries to get something that you like. Um, that's also part of the process. Um, so again, show us what you're up to and then uh, maybe it's, maybe it's going to change. But, you know, that's not great, but it's it could be the start of a skull project. <laughs> Needs a lot more work.